we're in transition area with the pro bikes. We're gonna have a little wander down through the bikes and see if there's anything weird, interesting or different. We just stumbled across Richard Murray's Specialized S-Works at Shiv and check out the paintwork on this. This is the torch paintwork, so it goes from a deep red to a yellow as the temperature increases. Pretty cool. So we've also noticed on Richard Murray's TT bike, he's on an unbranded disc. So Specialized come with Roval wheels, so you can see he's got a Roval front wheel. But the fact he's got an unbranded disc might suggest that Roval are trying out doing a disc wheel. Very interesting. Here we have Lionel Sanders' Louis Garneau bike. And if you take a look at this, it's a pretty striking paintwork. I think that says it all, really. Right, so I just stumbled across this. I thought it was a bit of rubbish just left here, but if you look in here, he's shoved a little bit of tissue in the Garmin mount. So I can only suspect that that is to stop any rattling of the Garmin in the mount. So it just keeps it nice and solid in there. Good idea. So we've noticed Michael Raylert's Cube bike here. So Michael's been with Cube for a few years now. But what I have noticed is he's on a fairly new looking bike and I can't actually tell you a whole lot about this because it was only released as a prototype at the end of last year. It's called the Cube Arium C68 and as you can see it's got some quite oversized parts in its frame, um, some really special aerodynamics. So he has a partnership with Swiss Side Wheels which has some Formula One background so they've gone to absolute full extent on the aerodynamics of this bike, as you can see. Here we have Sebastian Keenley's bike. I don't know what it is. Interestingly, we're seeing quite a lot of the ceramic speed product across the pro field. So here we, again we've got the ceramic speed oversized pulley wheel system and I wouldn't be surprised if he's got the ceramic speed bottom bracket and as you can see he's got the ceramic speed chain with the very messy gunk all over it but low friction. Okay we've got Terenzo Bazzoni's Argon 18 here but check out these pedals. So these are the key win pedals. I've not actually come across these before. I believe it's an American brand. They've got the largest pedal platform around and that's meant to provide better power transfer. We stumbled across Laura Siddle's pro bike here and she's riding a Sipo with quite cool paintwork on it. She's also got some really cool things going on. She's got a quote on her helmet saying, don't die trying. And then when she's down on the aero bars here, she's got a few quotes on her bottle. All in, jump, risk, yes, can, now, faster. Pretty cool. And then on her bottle reservoir sort of straw part, she's got a little pin in the straw. So I assume this is when the wind hits the straw, it's to stop the straw from folding over. So she's just got it continually pointing up towards her mouth so she doesn't have to move from her position. She could just quickly sip away. Also another little fun thing, she's got a top cap here. I'm not quite sure what it does, but it's almost like a English rose design. Really cool. <laughs> There you go, a cross section of some of the pro bikes here. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Global Triathlon Network by clicking on the globe here. And to see more pro bikes, just click up here. And then to see a video on a comparison between road bikes and TT bikes, which is faster, click down here.